Hi, Bernard. Hi, Carl. Back again for another network video, right? Uh, what are we yes. talking about in this video? Storage is the thing, right? So we are doing the SMB networks uh, or the networks that are required for our RDMA, right? In order to replicate our storage from one node to the other. Mm -hmm. The diff, uh, and also, I mean, we are, as it is there, and this is a very fast network, we can also use it for live migration and um, also for the cluster heartbeat and inter-cluster communication. So, um, so it is. The only thing to point out here is we have two sites, right? These are two networks that we need to take care about and there is now no routing in between, right? Mm -hmm. For some of the part, there is RDMA support and we will see that in the script. And for some part, especially for the inter site, we don't have RDMA, right? So mm -hmm. uh, a little bit tricky to get uh, that all together, right? And it's going to be a very long PowerShell script, but let's you know all, only summarize it maybe in a different view. So we have the odd site and the even site we have in total, four SMB networks we need to uh, care about. And these are the ones you are creating um, on one on one node. Which node are you one choosing? Node, yeah. you, uh, you the know? first one. Uh, you always use the one. first one, right? OK, OK, OK. Yeah, OK. So we'll do it um, as an example on this one. Um, and then after the video, Carsten will run the script three times for the other nodes and do the remaining ones, right? Exactly. Okay, so, so how does the hardware look? Ah, yes, I always forget that. So <laughs> we have, uh, we are using the um, the highest speed for um, for the SMB traffic, right? So this that's our 100 gigabit Mellanox uh, adapters, dual port adapters, which are um, here located in our servers and um, we stitch these two ports together to a set switch we call storage switch. And then we are creating two artificial adapters out of it, SMB1 and SMB2. And we do the RDMA configuration on both of the adapters. And then the final thing, which is the sort of the green line, which is crossing through the switch, we pin the virtual adapters to the actual physical port, right? Um, why we are doing this, uh, we don't want to have inter-switch communication. So we know, okay, uh, at this switch port, um, and we are connecting this cable to the physical port of the host, this will end up in being SMB1, for example, right? So we have the right IP addressing uh, consistently lay laid out. I hope this was sort of clear. Um, yeah, that's what we do. Let's go. Okay, let's go to my screen. Yep. So again, you see, uh, still on the console, we could do it remotely, but uh, ah, let's do it here. <laughs> so again, we need our IP address. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just do it. And this is a 51. Mm -hmm. First node. Yeah, and here are the names for the switch and our two virtual adapters. So. Mm -hmm. Let's just do that. Then you remember from the management video, we have to find out which host it is. Is it odd or even? And mm -hmm. depending on that, we set the networks here. So the SMB1 network, mm -hmm. we have two SMB networks per site. Yeah, So we need two IP ranges, mm -hmm. two VLANs, two subnets. Mm -hmm. So I will grab the whole region. Mm -hmm. Yep. Copy. Let's do it. It's magic. Okay. So if we go here and I just check, we have yep. our. No, it's it's SMB <laughs> one and two, of course. So yeah, we have our two networks. Fantastic. Oh. Yeah. So um, now we have to grab our network adapters, uh, 100 gigabit adapters. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, we will in this script later configure RDMA, and we mm -hmm. also configure the RDMA part for the Mellanox 25 gigabit adapters we used in the, in the compute network. So I have to grab them too that the script. Knows so what will you do with the 25? Which is, will you disable the RDMA for these ones? I will or? disable it. Uh, okay. In this part, we don't need RDMA in our 
VMs, we could so, enable it. Uh, yeah, but so fine. RDMA is only enabled for SMB. Okay, which is yeah. okay. So now in the script, there is a lengthy part uh, mm -hmm. where we configure RDMA for our environment. Mm -hmm. And we discussed that already in in our video series. So where is my right. PowerPoint? Here it is. Let's just show the video. So in this video, yeah, it's a 30 minute video. We discussed all you have to know about the RDMA Rocky that we configure mm -hmm. here. Though so we will not do it again. Otherwise this video would be quite lengthy. Yeah? Go yeah. there to have a deeper understanding what all these different um, mm -hmm. things do. So here I just copy it. Mm -hmm. and let it run so we okay. dis first we disable the stuff if i have to run the script multiple times you know that already mm -hmm. then we configure everything that's correct for here yeah mm -hmm. it take a little bit time see here okay. it should be done very soon and Important is you have to configure the same in the switches, the same settings, the same mm -hmm. on the hardware, and on, on, on every node. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are just setting here something. With the mode. Okay, so when this is done, right? Uh, we can already go to the next part, right? Yeah. Ah, then you are creating the VM switch. Okay. Exactly. So we've configured RDMA for the host. Mm -hmm. for the hardware adapters because you can't really configure it on the virtual adapters mm -hmm. so now i will create the switch first mm -hmm. remove it if if anything is there we don't have mm -hmm. our storage switch already mm -hmm. waste 10 seconds here with a sleep and then we create <laughs> the switch <laughs> okay yeah uh, let's go here so now this part we have to configure our virtual smb adapter yeah, mm -hmm. and it is as we did it with the management adapter it's a virtual right. adapter in the management os here it will mm -hmm. be created mm -hmm. and i get a name we have some sleeps here let's just run it mm -hmm. and then i can explain it maybe so mm -hmm. we do the dhcp enable disable to remove all old ip configuration of course they, mm -hmm. they are not here because i create the adapter so this is a little bit redundant then we set our ip address ip4 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we disable the registration uh, of uh, in in dns if mm -hmm. this uh, adapter would have had a gateway or a dns server would be reachable it would register the ip addresses under the name we don't want that mm -hmm. um, then we set the vlan uh, vlan um, tag on the host mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we do our net bios magic um this is a net bios. Bios. Yeah. yeah yeah this is important on mm -hmm. hardware adapters that use rdma so let mm -hmm. let me kick off the next part and then i can explain the rest mm -hmm. Copy. So let's go back. Mm -hmm. So uh, on hardware adapters that are RDMA enable uh, capable, uh, def by default RDMA is enabled. Mm -hmm. So be careful here. If you have Rocky, you have to be careful that RDMA is enabled. It will use RDMA. Uh, mm -hmm. On virtual adapters in the management web that we just create here, it's by default disabled. So we have manually to enable RDMA for these virtual adapters. And we mm -hmm. can see that uh, uh, a bit later. So the next thing we do, um, we use DCB and there mm -hmm. are PFC priorities. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the video I, uh, I did the reference to. So, and in, in essence, in the VLAN tag, you have an information uh, which priority the packet has. For RDMA, we, we, we don't need to do that, but if we also have priority tags for other traffic, and in our example, the cluster traffic is also prioritized mm -hmm. with, a, with a priority, um, the switch would remove this. Yeah? For RDMA, the switch leaves it the virtual the, the virtual switch would remove this right exactly so not your physical the virtual one. switch mm -hmm. you're yeah. right not the hardware switch the virtual switch would, would remove it mm -hmm. um for rdma it would not because the traffic is not going through the switch but for 
every other packet that is going through the switch, it would remove it. And this says the switch, please leave the priority there. We trust the priority that is coming from this adapter. And why would you do that? I mean, why would you using priority tags, right? That's for traffic shaping, right? Quality of service. So, for exactly. example, we want to guarantee the cluster traffic, some bandwidth uh, available, exactly. or that so, could be used uh, for, yeah. yeah. So we, we have that. And the next one is, you mentioned it in, uh, in uh, at the, when we looked at the hardware, we yeah. pin our virtual adapter to mm -hmm. a hardware adapter. So everything from SMB, the virtual adapter SMB1 is mm -hmm. going through the first Mellanox adapter. And right. we do that here also with the second one. So we really mm -hmm. pin the traffic from the virtual adapter to a hardware adapter. Otherwise, the switch would decide which adapter would be used. That's not mm -hmm. what we want. So mm -hmm. and in the last part here, we will rename our two adapters. And mm -hmm. we are done. So now we can look for some things here. First, mm -hmm. get VM switch. Mm -hmm. We should have now three VM switches, our management right. switch, our compute switch, and our storage switch. Mm -hmm. This is a bit difficult if you create virtual machines. You have to choose the switch where they communicate over because we have three. And usually mm -hmm. we want the compute switch, not the storage switch, not the management switch, right? Mm -hmm. So then we look at our net adapters. We have now two virtual SMB adapters. Yep. Um, we have our management adapter and our Mellanox adapters are renamed and our 100 gigabit Mellanox adapters and our 25 gigabit adapters and our Intel adapters. And we have still mm -hmm. um, some adapters here that are mm -hmm. not present, so they are disabled. Yeah? We don't mm -hmm. use them. We can rename them, but we don't use them. And now we look at RDMA. There is the get net adapter RDMA um, commandlet. We see SMB1 and 2 has RDMA enabled and it's operational. Mm -hmm. Our hardware adapters, the Mellanox adapters, have also RDMA enabled. It should be disabled on the 25 gig one. Um, and we unconfigured the DCB. So we have to add also the disable RDMA commanded and I will do that and add it to the scripts. Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. And here, everything is fine. You see here, PSC is enabled, is, is configured. That's important for Rocky. That's mm -hmm. the RDMA protocol Mellanox is using. So everything fine here. I only have to disable RDMA on this one. It's not necessary yeah. because we don't use it, but for, you know, let's say to, to do it correctly, we, we would also yeah. disable it. Okay. So okay. Let's go back to our. Uh, yeah, that's that's all that uh, that is there for the <laughs> SMB part, right? <laughs> I think that's enough, right, to digest, and also for the um, DCB uh, configuration and for the Rocky configuration. Bear in mind, there is another video that talks a little bit about the details on the how and the whys, right? Um, and that's okay, see you in the next one. Yep. See ya.